Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. All right, so today we're gonna look at the Usi Classic. This was a limited edition deck of cards. It was a project on Kickstarter, successfully funded. Uh, it was released from Usi. Uh, you might remember uh, I did the deck review for uh, Royal Optic. And this deck represents the culmination of a six deck project that Usi uh, embarked on. Aside from uh, Royal Optic, they also have Blue Blood, they also have Pagan, they also have Hot Cakes, and they also have Bohemia. And so this is the last of a six deck series. Uh, Usi is Peter Dunham and Linnea Gitz. They are a design firm, they're based out of Chicago. And uh, the cool thing about this deck is uh, really, for me, uh, was the court cards. Uh, this is an entirely hand-painted deck. And all right, and so the inspiration for the classic deck uh, came out of the Renaissance period, and so the court cards and uh, all the artwork in this are uh, reminiscent of the Renaissance. Renaissance literally translates as rebirth, and so these are a very classic themed deck. The Kickstarter project did consist of two different decks. There was the blue deck, which was an unlimited run, and the red deck, which was a limited run of only 3,500 decks. And so then in between the two colors, the blue and red, uh, for the sake of this review, we will look at the blue deck. The front of the tuck case just says Usi and classic, and there's a crown there. You can see the outside is uh, very ornate with a frame around it. The backside, uh, again, very ornate framework, uh, very similar to the front. The side on each side has a band, and it just simply says 52. The bottom of the tuck case just has some ad copy about the United States Playing Card Company. The top has a band, and then of course, a original tuck seal. The tuck case is done in a kind of an eggshell off-white uh, color and then the paper itself is kind of a matte finish and gives it a kind of an older uh, more nostalgic feel to it and then the tuck flap this is really cool uh, it carries the pattern so uh, it, if you look at it really closely you can see that it all lines up really perfectly uh, even when it's exposed so that is a really cool feature as well uh, the red tuck case is exactly the same only it's red and real quick here's a close-up of the red tuck case that is it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. This deck was printed from the United States Playing Card Company and it was done on their retail stock. It does have a modern cut and it does have air cushion embossing. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design is the same as the back design of the tuck case. Uh, again, very ornate, very uh, rich with uh, Renaissance inspired themes. You got a lot of organic shapes, more rounded edges more swirls and uh, uh, things that don't have hard edges or hard lines. And you can see that it also has kind of a, an illusionary border there. It's not a, you know, it's not a perfect frame where it's got edges and straight lines, but you do see that there is a border there and it does make for a really cool uh, back design. The red back design is the same as the blue, except it is red. The faces of the cards uh, have an aged yellowing uh, wash to them, so it kind of adds to that idea that this is an older deck or that it comes from an older era. With this deck, you don't get any gaff cards or add cards, but you do get this really cool diptych. Uh, a diptych is two pictures that come together to form a single picture, uh, and it looks like you have two griffins there, or two like medieval beasts, and uh, they're facing each other kind of like heralds or uh, guardians. Also with this deck, you got two mirror jokers. Uh, it's kind of like a jester who's sitting down. You'll notice that one joker uh, has black font and the other has red. And then the joker is holding a little staff that has the various pip suits coming out of it. The Ace of Spades is really cool. It's got that same kind of griffin beasts there on the left and the right. Um, they have swords uh, piercing the spade and then there's the crown at the top. Down here at the bottom, it says Usi Classic and USA. And another really cool ace is the Ace of Diamonds. Down here at the bottom, instead of just the ace pip, uh, you also have a knight on a horse, and it says that these cards are printed by the United States Playing Card Company. The Pip and Usi cards still carry that Renaissance theme. Uh, you'll notice that the pips are a little fatter, a little wider, and then the pip placement is more spread out through the card itself. And then like I said earlier, uh, the court cards, they're all hand painted and they're all original to this deck. Um, they carry with it the same type of theme uh, that would be uh, indicative of the Renaissance period. And each one of them has a very unique personality and it makes for a really striking deck. Here are a couple of the diamonds. Here's a few of the clubs and your hearts. 
Well, that is it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.